Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Hello, guys and girls. Hold on. Hello, 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 hello. Hello? Can you hear me, guys? Oh, yeah. Uh, Morena, hello. Oh, yes. Uh, good evening. Yes, I hear you. Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, so good. So far, so good? Yes. Awesome. How was work today? Sorry? How was work today? Today is my day off. That's why I'm here on time. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, um, so when else is your day off? When ends today? My tomorrow is my Monday. Supposed to me. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so tomorrow is your Monday. Okay, all right. Yes, and I I start my my shift at night and and finish at seven, and I have to come to my house. One hour because the traffic uh, from the Los Choros way is very difficult. That's oh, why yeah. uh, that's why I come here very hurry, hurry up because I need to stay here in the class. But before of this, I had to make a lot of thing as as housekeeper, you know, um, make a dinner, wash the dishes, right. prepare my baby. That is that is my situation. Um, the the normal days for me. This is tomorrow because tomorrow I'm supposed to supposed to miss my short day, right? But Wednesday, I finish at seven. Imagine, I have to come here to my house um uh, during one hour. I have to pass the traffic very fast because um my husband drive a motorcycle, you know, <laughs> and um, I have to finish a lot of things here and connecting by myself, my cell phone, because uh, I I want to have time to prepare the computer. Oh, okay. All right. All mm -hmm. right. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. And that's so... why sometimes I feel very loose when you ask something about the class, <laughs> because I'm not... Uh, my my focus is not a hundred percent. All right. Yes, okay. I apologize I for that, that inconvenience, but this is my situation right now because I work from house, but now I go to the site because I have some problem with my UPS, but the IT never never fix there would fix it, and yeah. I want to come back here, but I can't because they never say, "Hey, Morena, I have." You sip it well, but not. I and got I, you. I I wait I wait for that um, for that answer, but I don't know until when. Okay, I got you. Well, that's that's very interesting. I hope you know you get the you get the right answer soon. All right. Yeah. Um. Anyways, very interesting. Very interesting day. Um, yeah. I I always I always I always I always wish to know that situation my my situation because uh, it's not that I, uh, for example maybe you ask something I don't answer you and for me it's very frustrating because I like to learn that uh, language but sometimes I can to be focused you can't focus right no I got you I got you but your English is pretty good your oh really? Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate your comment. No, no, you're you're welcome. Okay. Uh, Diego so Vega, welcome, Diego. How are you doing, man? How was your day today? Hey, what's up? 
I am a little bit tired and a little bit stressed with my job because today it was a uh, I don't know it, it was it was not a bad day but it was a really busy day and you know sometimes we have days like this and yeah it's okay it's part of life <laughs> and what about you I'm great man I'm great uh very tired too um i had to i recently came back from from work um Good. so yeah i have more work here right so yeah it's kind yeah. of tired sometimes you know but i'm very glad that you're here man uh welcome alejandro julio cesar julissa maximo morena well morena we're here already welcome everybody right so guys uh let's get started all right so today we're gonna go over the something very interesting which is infinitives and gerunds okay so we're gonna we're gonna understand them perfectly at the end of the at the end of the class, okay? Um, so guys, what is uh? Now uh, we're gonna talk about you know infinitive phrases first, right? But what is an infinitive phrase? Who would like to help me read? Hey, I can help you. Go ahead. What are infinitive phrases? Definition, a verbal phrase that begins with to, followed by a verb. Examples, to sing is her passion. Good job, right? To sing is her, her passion, okay? So now, um, so what is the infinitive phrase here, right? So we have the infinitive here and we got the preposition too. These two together, right? This is what makes a an infinitive phrase, okay? So we're gonna have the verb in base form, the, the verb in infinitive form, all right? That's what we mean. So now we can say, for example, you know, um, we can use infinitives and we can use gerunds as, as nouns, right? And that's what I want you to learn today, right? So we can use them as noun. And what is a noun? It's something can be a person or a, a, an object. I think so, it's her. It's, a, it's what? Her. It's her. Okay, her. No, but what is, what is the, def I'm talking about the definition of a noun, right? What is the definition of a noun? Okay, sir. What do you think, guys? Well, how would you define a noun? And her, no, that would not be a noun, by the way. That's not an example of a noun. It's an object. It's I an object. So it's the, when it's the name, the substitute, the name. I think. All right. Very good. It's a substitute of a, of a name. Okay. All right. Um, what else? What else? Okay. So I'm going to tell you what, guys. Okay. So we do have to understand something. And this is, if you don't understand this part, we, we are not going to understand the rest of the class. Okay. So it's very important to understand what a noun is. Okay. Now, in a sentence, right? So let's take a look at a sentence, right? So in a sentence, you have a subject. Let's have a subject, you know. Um, let's have a verb. And then let's have a, an object, right? Now, what we're going to be focusing on here are going to be two things, two very, two very, very, very important things. The first one is the subject, and the second one is the object, okay? So what is what is a subject? First of all, all right, let's take a look at the definition of a subject. What is a subject? What do you think? Whoever or whatever we are talking about. Whoever, whatever we're talking about, right? 
Okay, exactly. So it's whoever, right? Whoever yes. or whatever we are talking about, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. It's it's whoever whatever we are we are making a reference to, right? So we can say, for example, she, right? She. Well, actually, let's let's go with uh. Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne eats, and then we're going to go with apples. Okay. All right. So whoever is performing the action, okay? Where whatever we're talking about, or let's call it, you know, is performing, where whatever performs the action, all right? This is a clear definition. Cheyenne eats apples, right? Who performs the action? Cheyenne, right? That is the subject. Okay, sounds good. Remember, remember this part right here, okay? So we're talking about Cheyenne, right? But we can, it's better to, to remember this as, you know, hey, who's performing the action or what is performing the action, right? In this case, that would be Cheyenne. So, all right, so Cheyenne, guys, the word Cheyenne is a noun, right? So why is it a noun? What is a noun? What is the definition of a noun? And this definition of a noun, guys, is, and this is, I think, this is the, the, the confusion, right? This is whatever or whoever we are referring to, okay, or talking about, okay? This is the definition of a noun. Sounds good? So if I said, if I said um, apples, is that a noun? Yes. yes. Apples is a noun? Yes. Cheyenne is a noun? Yes. Yes. If I yes. substitute, if I substitute Cheyenne and I say he instead, is this a noun? He? Yes. No, that's not a noun. This is a pronoun. A pronoun. Okay. Because a pronoun, all right, a pronoun simply substitutes a noun. Okay. A pronoun substitutes a noun, okay? Sounds good? Okay. Raise a pronoun, substitute a noun. Okay. All right, very good. So, so okay, so this is a pronoun, right? Because it's substituting Cheyenne. So we're going to leave it with Cheyenne, okay? Cheyenne eats apples, right? Please, 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 please remember this part because this is going to be very, very important. Okay, now, apples. Apples is what? Apples is a noun, right? Apples is still a noun, right? So, okay, now, what is the difference in the structure, what is the difference between Cheyenne and apples? What is the difference? Um, Cheyenne is um, the person in this case who performs the, the action and apples mm -hmm. uh, are the, the object or the complement of this action. Very good, okay. All right, very good. Very good. Very good, very good. So, um, so here's the thing, okay? So Cheyenne and apples, right? This is the, whoever, you know, this is the person who performs or the, it could be the object, whatever, guys, okay? Whatever noun performs the action, right? 
is called a subject, okay? Because a subject can be two things. A subject can be, what do you think? What do you think? All right, even if you have not studied this part specifically, right? What do you think a subject can be? There are two things that a subject can be. What are they? Yes? The answer is in front of you guys. A subject Nouns can be and pronouns. Things. Exactly, okay? A subject can be a noun, and a subject can be a noun. I mean, a pronoun, sorry. And a subject can be a noun too, okay? Sounds good? Okay. All right. Very good. An object... Okay, an object can be two things too. All right, what do you think an object can be? First of all, you got the answer in front of you. A noun. All right, it can be a noun, right? Very good. Can it be something else? Complement. All right. A compliment, uh, pretty good. A compliment, hmm. Okay, let me ask you this. Okay, I'm gonna be more specific. Can an object be a pronoun? Yes or no? No, no, okay. Who says yes, guys, and why? Thing, yes. All right. It could be a pronoun. Okay. So it could be a pronoun, right? Okay. Yes, guys. Yes. What kind of pronoun could this be? So you can say, all right, here's the thing, guys. Them. Can say, exactly. Them. He it's them. Okay? Them. Exactly. So, guys, thank you very much, right? We can say he eats them, right? See? So, we got, we got, uh, them. We got, so, so we can, what can we conclude here, guys? Can we conclude, can we conclude that a subject and an object can be nouns and pronouns? Can we say that? Yes. All yes. right. So a subject, right? A subject and an object. You know what? Object, and then we're gonna say subject like this. Right? Can be both nouns and pronouns. pronouns. Okay. All right, both of them. All right, because this is like a category. What do I mean by that? Okay, imagine. Picture this situation, okay? Let's say that you have you have um, two categories, right? In a sentence, you will always have a subject and not all the times are you gonna have, you know, uh, an object, okay? This is just sometimes. So, mm -hmm. all right, but both subjects and objects are exactly the same. What is the difference, okay? They are the same, right? They're like, like compadres, okay? This is, you know, so so they're within the same box, okay? But what is what is the difference? Here's the difference, okay? So the subject, right? The subject is like the person who throws the ball. Right now we're gonna do it like this. Right? right? So let's see that, you know, we got a, somebody's gonna throw the ball, right? whatever, baseball, whatever, right? So this is like me playing baseball, right? And then you got, you know, the person catching the ball, right? Whatever. So you got the catcher here, right? Okay. So whoever throws the ball, you know what? Let's, let's do it like this. <laughs> do you like my Picasso drawings, guys? <laughs> so, 
So whoever, hold on. Uh, why is everything else getting erased? Okay. So whoever throws the ball is the, the subject, okay? The performer of the action, okay? Performer of action. And whoever catches the ball is the, how, how, would, we, how would you call it? Whoever catches the ball or whatever catches the ball. Who received receive the action? Receive receiver, the action. right? The receiver of action. Okay. All right. So you got the performer of the action and the receiver of the action, right? But both of them, right? Both of them could be two things, right? Can 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 his name be? Uh, can his name be? Um, Bodcaberto. Can his name be Bodcaberto? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? Can his name be Petrovnilo? Yes or yes. no? <laughs> yes. We're thinking about Friday, right? Can we call him uh can we call him a he? Yes. Can we call him a him? Yeah. All right. So Okay, so they both, they can both be, right, nouns, and they can both be pronouns. Pronouns. Okay? Different types of pronouns, right? You got object pronouns and you got subject pronouns, okay? Easy, right? And this is the action. All right, so far so good. Is this clear? Has ha, Have you ever had an explanation about subjects and pronouns like this? No. Did you, did you understand the first time? Did you understand it perfectly this, this time? So so. It's not very clear, but I'm going to review. All right. Okay. Not not very clear, but okay. But we we. So in conclusion, we we must have learned two things. Okay. Let's see if you under if you understood, you can answer these two questions. Okay. Well, these questions. So, what is a subject? If you under, if you can answer these questions, you understood everything. So, what is a subject? It's who perform an action. Very good. Okay, performer of action. Performer right? of the action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second question, right? What is uh, what is what is an object? Petronilo. All right, Petronilo, right? And that is the, <laughs> receiver, the receiver of action. Okay. Who receiver? Who receiver uh, the action? Okay. Action. If, if 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 everybody else who was not answering uh, was able to answer these questions, you have you are understanding absolutely everything. Okay. So um hey guys, can you see my notifications when I get them? Or do you only see my presentation? Uh, no, just the presentation. Just the presentation, All right? Very good. Okay. So, okay. So now, third question. Okay, let's see if you understood. Um, can a subject and an object? What are the two things that a subject and an object can be? A noun and a pronoun. Exactly right. What are the two things? A subject and an object. Right, can be right, and the answer is, of course, right, they can be a noun and a pronoun. Okay, very good. If you answer these now, let me ask you something. You said that you did not understood, you, you did not understand so clear, right? One of you said that. So I am I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the other person, were you able to answer these three questions, sir? Yes or no? Did you know the answer for these three questions? I don't know who was talking before. So I'm just, whoever said, whoever said that it was kind of confusing, I'm asking you, were you able to answer these three questions? Hello? I don't know who that was, but I hope, 
I hope everybody else is is it clear? Were you able to answer these three, these three questions, guys and girls? Me, teacher, I am. Okay, Julio Cesar, sure. right? Now, pudo, pudo responder esas tres preguntas, sí o no? Uh, me? Yes. Really? No, not very well. Okay, All right. So, yeah. Again, that... I'm going to try to learn it more about the grammar, I think so. Okay. Because it's the first time I see something about this. Okay, all right, no problem, no problem, okay? Now, what about the rest, guys? Is, the, is there any question that you have? Is there something that is not clear enough? Were you able to answer all these three questions? Yes or no? I am able to, well, I was able to answer the questions. So right now, it's clear. All right, okay. So teacher, right. maybe you can send the this this picture for the WhatsApp group, please. Okay. Uh, can somebody please take a screenshot? Because I don't have my WhatsApp uh open All right, in here right now. All right. Yeah, take take a screenshot, guys. Okay. Take a screenshot, right? Very good. All right. So let's go back to the presentation. Now, it's very important that you know that because that's going to be related to our next topic, okay? So, I want you to notice something here. Take a look at this phrase right here. To sing is her passion, okay? Now, um, so, where is the subject of the sentence here? How can you, or where can you identify the subject of the sentence here? Where is it, guys? Where is the subject of the sentence? The subject is to, to who sing. we are talking about. Uh -huh. to, sing. To, sing. to sing. To sing. To sing, okay. Now, oh, David, but that's a, but that's a, that's a verb. Yeah, of course it's a verb, right? But guys, this is acting. Repeat, guys. Acting. 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 As a noun. As a noun. All right. Because we're using it in a position of a noun, okay? Basically, guys, in English, grammar will have, will follow, you know, four sentences, right? Regardless of the tense you're using, you will always follow the same structure pretty much, right? So in this case... You say to sing, right? To sing would be taking the position of the subject, right? For example, and, 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 and I take a look at how this makes sense, right? So we got a subject, right? We got uh, the verb be, am I right? The verb be, let's call it the verb be here. And then we got, you know, um, we got an adjective, her, and then we got passion, which is a noun too, right? But let's call it an object, right? Oh, you know what? Let's call it an adjective here, and then we got another noun here, okay? But I want you to notice something here, guys. So a subject, right, can be two things. What, what, what are the two things that a subject can be? Noun and pronoun. All right, a noun and a pronoun, okay? So guys, to sing can be replaced for another noun, okay? You can, instead of to sing, you could say Cheyenne. Now, if we said, guys, Cheyenne, right, Cheyenne is her passion, would this sentence make sense, yes or no? Can we say, could we say, guys, Cheyenne is her passion? Yes or no? No. No, really. So there's no way for, for us to say Cheyenne es su pasión. We cannot say that? Yes, we can say that, but Cheyenne is not the subject in that. Well, in the structure, yes, but in the meaning of the sentence, no. 
No, but but we could say it. that the the point is yes, that we can yes, say it. We can say it. Why can we say it? Because we're following the structure. We're we're using a subject. Okay. So when we used to sing, to sing is not working as a verb because what is a verb? Do you know what a verb is? What is the definition Sing? of verb? What is it? It is to be. No, no, no. What is the definition of a verb? Oh, the action. Uh, an action. Action. All right. So the definition of a verb would be an action, right? So in this case, guys, is this is this is this an action that is happening, you know, to sing? No. I'm not making a reference to an action per se, right? Yeah, of course you're you're I mean you're making a reference to an action, but you're not performing the action right now, right? It's not something that is being done right now, right? You're naming, right? You're placing a name on the action. Estás poniéndole un nombre a la acción, right? It's like pretending que la acción se llama Chayanne, right? So because it takes the position, the position of a noun, right? Because it's acting as a noun. This is an infinitive phrase working as the subject of the sentence, okay? This is the subject of the sentence, to sing. All right? So far, so good? You can... Yes. Clear as well, Kapitrov? Okay. Now, <laughs> okay, so there is... Okay, let's let's have another example, okay? I could say... Well, you know what? You guys give me give me a verb, guys. Give me Give me any verb that you want. Work, sing, work. Let's go right. So an infinitive phrase would be would be will begin with two, right? Followed by a verb, right? So to work. So we can say to work what? Is her passion? It's right. really stressful for her. To work is really stressful, right? To work is really stressful. Very good. Where's the subject of the sentence? To, to work. work. To work. To work. Okay. work. All right. To let's work. have another example. What would be another example? Oh, by the way, hold on. Could we say, guys, instead of to work, can we say Cheyenne? It's really stressful. Can we say this? Yes, or yes. No? yes, we can say this. Yes. Why? Because Cheyenne and to work are working as the subject of the sentence, right? Mm -hmm. So this is basically, guys, this is how you can prove that this is working as a noun, right? So if you're able to substitute this for Cheyenne, then this is working as a noun. Got it? All right. So think about okay. Chan. Bottom line, think about Chan, right? So, all right, give me another verb. What would be another verb? C. C, okay. So remember, we have to start with? To see. To see, right? To see. To see what? Uh, was... Was cool. To see was cool, right? Very simple. Oh, to see you was cool, sorry. To see you. To see you, right? Was cool, right? Very good. All right, what about. All right, give me another one. To fly. Fly. To fly. Fly. To fly what? Fly is very interesting. wonderful. To fly, to fly is very wonderful, right? Now, notice, guys, notice that we can be using this with simple present, with simple past, with any tense. You can say to fly is very wonderful, to fly was wonderful, simple past, right? To fly uh, has been amazing. What tense is this? What tense is this? Present perfect, right? Why, well, guess mm -hmm. So we can say Cheyenne has been amazing, right? See, we can substitute. It makes sense, right? 
So, all right, so we can conclude that, you know, uh, infinitive phrases can be used with, infinitive phrases can be used with every single, um, with every single noun, okay? So far so good? All right, so <clears throat> moving on. Do we have any questions, guys and girls? Not for me. Not for me, all right. So, okay, moving on, all right? You can use it as a noun, as an adjective, and as an adverb, okay? You, you can use an infinitive phrase like in these three situations. However, we're gonna, we're only gonna talk about using them as a noun for today, right? We can use it as, a, as the subject or the object of the sentence, and that's gonna be really cool. I want you to, I want you to analyze this, right? To travel is my dream. So we said that this is an infinitive phrase because to travel is the? Noun. To travel is, is working as a noun, right? And this, so it is the subject. The subject. Right? Okay, now, did you know, right? And this is the thing, okay? Can we use, guys, remember, what else, I'm gonna type it in here, what else can an object, uh, I mean, uh, a noun be? What else can a noun be? ¿Qué más puede ser un sustantivo? I told you guys, I gave you the answer. If you want to look at the answer, you can take a look at the WhatsApp group, right? Infinitive phrase? An infinitive phrase. Hmm, okay. Mm, kind of. What do you think? So... Take a look at the, guys, take a look at the WhatsApp group. The, the, the answer is there. What else can a noun be? ¿Qué más puede ser un sustantivo? It can be a subject, right? What else can it be? Uh, uh, an object. An object, exactly, okay. So check this out. Take a look at what we're gonna do, right? So the answer is an object, okay? So I want you to take a look at what we are gonna do here. So I can say it is my dream. Now, the reason we're saying it is my dream is because we're going to use this part over here, right? The predicate. But, the pre but we always, in English, we always, guys, and remember this, we always need a subject, okay? Always. I know in Spanish, right, you say boy instead of yo, boy, right? We just say boy, am I right? Yeah. Okay, but in English, you cannot say is my dream. You need to add, if you know, you're know you not being specific, of, if, if you're not referring to a person, right? And our group of things, you need to say it. Sounds good? So you say, mm -hmm. it is my dream, all right? So this is what you can do, it is my dream. And then remember, it is my dream, if, it, right, is the subject, right? We can use to travel as the object, okay? So here, you can see that this is being used as the subject, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we can, we can use the predicate, is my dream, right? And then to travel is the object. Sounds good? Easy, right? So in the previous examples, all right, in the previous examples, okay, to sing her, her passion, I wanna ask you something. I want you guys to transform this to, to, I want you to use this as the object of the sentence, not the, not the subject, but as the object of the sentence, okay? How would you, how, how would that, what would that say? Her passion is to sing. Very 
Very good. Her passion is the subject is to sing. Very good job, right? Well done. See, her passion is to sing. So now to sing is the receiver of the action, which is this, right? Sounds good? So this is the object, all right? So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples, guys, and I want you to transform them. You know, you know what? No, I want you to do this, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna group you up. Um, so I'm gonna get you into couples. And what you are gonna do, guys, is that you are going to come up with 10 examples, right? Of infinitive, and you can send this to the WhatsApp group if you want, right? 10 examples of infinitive phrases used as subjects and objects, okay? All right, that's what you're gonna do. So for example, this, right? You can say to work is fun. And then if you wanted to transform this, if you wanted to use to work as the object, what, what would you do? You would say, it is fun to work, right? Yes. Okay, so this would be, right? This would be one and two sentences, okay? And this is what okay. you're gonna do. You're gonna use the same, the same phrase, but you're gonna use the infinitive phrase as the subject and the object. All right, are the instructions clear? Están claras las instrucciones? Yes. Okay, awesome, okay. All right, so now let me get you, let me get you together then. All right, let's work in couples. And uh, I want you to write them down in your, in your notebook, okay? So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's join, okay? Let's join the rooms. All right, guys, so let's start working on this together, okay? Hi. Hi. Hi, Julius. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What's up? No, she's our, our old friend. Yes. Huh? Hello. Hey, I'm trying to get you um, to a breakout session right now. Because, oh, you're supposed to be. OK. Oh, yeah, I'm R. Right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. R. Thank mm -hmm. you. It's okay. entertaining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we video can games? say video games are entertaining. are entertainment to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the other way. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Okay. Video games um, is your hobby. Video games okay. is your hobby. No, your because hobby. you need to... Oh, no, no. no. Oh, you're no. asking uh -huh. me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it's uh, another sentence. <laughs> and I was a little bit confused. <laughs> yeah, it's my hobby. Okay, right now, okay. I am... Uh -huh. A little bit, um, what's the word? Because I, I don't remember the word even in Spanish, but uh, I have an obsession right now mm -hmm. with a game. 
Mm -hmm. I have an obsession with the... I don't know if you hear about the game of Marvel Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Yeah. That's such uh -huh. an awesome game, man. It's really That's... cool. Right now, and, well, when I when I have a, a PlayStation 4, I really want to play that game. But I said, okay. uh, mm -hmm. I don't have the money. But right now that I, that I have the money, I buy it and well, <laughs> I am playing that game. Ah, okay, okay. I'm really happy. <laughs> okay. Do the homework. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another one. Work, For example, play. Work? Ah, climb. Climb. To climb. Uh -huh. To climb the mountain is very exciting. Excited. Okay. Exciting. Excite, Eva. Exciting? Uh -huh. Ex uh, yeah. To climb. Climb or climb? Climb. 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 Uh -huh. The mountain, eh? Yeah. The mountain. Mountain. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to me uh, pronounce that. The mountain and... <laughs> is? That pronunciation is mount mountain. Mountain. Yes. Mount and okay, mountain. mountain. Yes, uh -huh. exactly. To climb the mountain, mount is very, very exciting. Uh huh. Okay. Exciting. So mm -hmm. it is uh -huh. exciting. Uh huh. Exciting. To climb the mountain. The mountain, mountain. is very ex exciting to climb. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I forgot the mountain. Mm -hmm. Mountain. The mountain. To climb. Mm -hmm. The next one. Mm -hmm. Work, play. Huh? And to ride a ride. motorcycle. A ride, okay. I had to ride. To no, ride, we can say mm. to ride a motorcycle. Yes, is... I practice the song to sing, to read. I wear glasses. I wear glasses to read. To take notes, I need a book and a pencil. I need a book and a pencil to take notes. Y voy por la última. ¿Cuántas te hiciste, Diez? <laughs> Estamos con compañera Morena. No, but you're... Hello, I was, in, I was alone in... Uh, no worries. Okay, no thank you. Here. Yeah, uh, I don't know. If, can you um? Can you? I don't know. I am sure that you have some some example, right? Oh uh, yes. <coughs> okay. Um, I only make two. I don't know if that is correct. Read, please. I only ro wash with two dents. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that is correct. Two dents is good for health. No. Two dents? It's good for health because I don't know. It's good if... for health. For health. And if you turn to object, found it. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Teacher. But, yeah. Teacher. Tell me, tell me. Hey, I had a problem with section two. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, mm -hmm. no worries. We're going to go over 
Uh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, we're going to go over the answers from section two and one tomorrow, okay? Ah, okay. okay. We're gonna we're gonna go over the answers with everybody in the class, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. In so, one topic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No worries. Okay. Uh, hopefully, you know, tomorrow we'll have uh, most of the students here, so we can, so so we can do it. But but yeah, don't worry. We're gonna go over the answers. So I know sometimes you know the platform will give you bad answers right like they will they will say that uh, that you get a bad a bad answer right if something is wrong sorry uh mm -hmm. when it's not okay that's sometimes you know it's that the platform is a little bit buggy so that's what yeah. happens sometimes but yeah okay we're gonna go over the answers okay okay all right so um uh, did you finish one two we three, have... four four you got four. All right, let's finish them up. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, to dance is really funny. Mm -hmm. To dance is very funny. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, well uh, very or funny. really funny. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's really, really. Mm -hmm. Really funny. Okay. So it is really fun to dance. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Yeah, five. Mm -hmm. To write to to write a sub opera. To write a sorry. S sub opera. Opera. Sub opera. Novela. Sub opera. Oh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Take. It's uh, complicated. <laughs> I don't know. Or uh, oh, take a uh, a lot of time. To dance. Okay. Uh -huh. Y así con todas las demás. Por ejemplo, ocupemos otro, otro verbo. Dígame, por favor. Mm, vaya. To read, I wear glasses. To read, I wear? Glasses. Mm -hmm. Bye. Now, now right. when, you, when you say to read, I wear glasses is not... Remember that you have to pretend that... Think about Cheyenne, right? <laughs> you have to think about substituting that with Cheyenne. Can I say Cheyenne? Well, yeah, you can say Cheyenne, comma, I wear glasses, right? But then you're not following within the same sentence. I needed to say something oh, like to okay. read, to read has a lot of benefits, right? Cheyenne has a lot of benefits. Got it? So within okay, one okay, sentence. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drink, okay. To drink? To drink. Mm, alcohol. Alcohol, it's not healthy. For example. Mm -hmm. Isn't. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Healthy. Healthy. Okay. Alcohol. It's not healthy. To drink.
All right, guys and girls. Okay, real quick, uh, before we leave, give me one of your examples. Give me one example. Uh, well, I'm going to ask everyone, okay? So let's see, Alejandro, could you give me one example of, be, of uh, an infinity being used as a subject? Yeah, of course. I have one to play this fun, and also it's fun to play. All right, very good. So to play is fun, and it's fun to play, right? You cannot right. say is fun to play. Very good. Good job. All right. I like that. All right. Uh, next one. Uh, Diego, give me one. Okay. Uh, to watch TV is boring. To watch TV is boring, huh? So TV is boring uh, to watch. TV is boring to watch. Perfect. To watch. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, Julissa, give me yours, please. To work, I get up early. Um, mm. I get up early to work, it is correct. I get up early to work and then comma here. Now it's it's okay, but we're not using it within the same sentence, but yeah, it is great, right? And you can say, I get up early to work. You're using it as a noun, so it is, Technically, technically correct, but we're not using it as part of one. Like, uh, it's not being used as the the object or the subject of the sentence, right? In here, yeah, we're using it. Um, we're using it as as a subject, but here we also have a subject. Got it? So we're not using it as part of the same clause. That is the problem. It is okay, but we're not using it as part of the same clause. Got it? Okay. Because the subject yes. is this, right? Um, all right. So anyways, but yeah, I mean it is it is working as a noun, that's for sure. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. And then we have Maximo. What is your example, Maximo? Maximo, you're on mute. Sorry. To climb the mountain is very exciting. The mountain climb. is very exciting to climb. The mountain, right, is very exciting, right? And the mountain is very exciting to climb. Okay, very good. Good job. Perfect examples, okay? All right, who's missing? Quien falta? We're good? All right, well... Uh, that is pretty much it. Okay. Um, did we learn anything new today? Yes. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, we're going to go over the platform, the platform's answers. Okay. So join in early so we can solve the exercises together. Okay. 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 All right. Sounds good, guys. Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night.